Hyperlink's DRC will read in board data from any layout system and allow you to perform electrical rule checking on the board through a series of design rule checks or DRCs. All of the built-in DRCs contain a series of parameters that allow you to adjust the rule to meet the needs of your specific design. Uh, this particular DRC, Nets Crossing Gaps, is concerned with traces going over gaps or splits in the reference plane. And some of the parameters that you can set are the size of holes that a trace might go over, uh, which reference planes are active or to be considered reference planes in the analysis. And then when the DRC completes, all of the violations, when you click on them, will turn on and off the appropriate layers to allow you to view the violation more easily. And there's also a series of actions to the right that you can also do that uh, automatically occur as well. But each of these violations, as you click on them, uh, allow you to see the violation very clearly uh, where it is on the board. Another popular EMI DRC is the vertical reference plane change. And this one is concerned with signal vias that are routed without a surrounding stitching via or stitching capacitor. So some of the parameters that you can set are the distance to a decoupling capacitor or a stitching via, uh, as well as uh, like nets crossing gaps, which planes uh, are to be considered reference planes uh, it, during the check. And again, as you click through the violations, you can see very clearly uh, where the, the violation is, the search radius around the violation, and uh, be able to take corrective action as a result of that. Now, some of, some of the built-in DRCs actually use uh, a, the field solver. So uh, this differential impedance check will go through and actually check the differential impedance along all the different sections of a differential trace pair. So if we go through the different violations here, uh, we can find things that, you know, some of which you might be able to see visually by reviewing the board manually, but some might be a little harder to spot. And so being able to actually uh, calculate the, the differential impedance is very helpful in allowing you to find these violations. Like for instance, on this differential trace pair, you can see where it's breaking apart, pretty obvious violation of the differential impedance, but this diagonal section might not be intuitive to uh, find that kind of violation. Now, in addition to all the built-in DRCs, you can also write custom DRCs to automate the manual checks that you perform on a board design now. Uh, for instance, this decoupling coverage check is a very simple check that just looks for power pins to make sure that there's a certain amount of decoupling capacitor coverage uh, for each power pin. So it's looking for decoupling capacitors within a certain search radius. Uh, much simpler than doing a, a full decoupling analysis, but it's a good first pass at, at finding issues. Uh, this proximity check DRC, another custom DRC that we wrote, uh, basically searches for high voltage nets and uh, make sure that there's no metal within a certain safe distance. So in the X, Y, and Z directions, it will ensure that, that no metal is within a certain distance of a, a high voltage net. And if we go through the violations, we can see where it's found metal within our safe distance, which in this case was 50 mils. So basically, you can use Hyperlink's DRC to check for anything that you might otherwise manually check for on the board, and also items which aren't easily simulatable, uh, like EMI problems. Uh, in addition to doing uh, checks before you, you run a, a simulation, like uh, just looking at impedances to make sure that uh, they met your specifications.